Today, I'm gonna to show you how to make a really easy and delicious dish, grilled chicken Parmesan. We're gonna start with boneless, skinless chicken thighs. I like using them because there's a lot of moisture and they stay moist when you grill them. So we're gonna lay these out and we're just gonna cut a little bit of the heavy fat off, but we wanna leave a little bit on there because fat's flavor, right? So we lay these out on the cutting board and we're gonna just look for any heavy fat and just remove that with the knife, set that aside. And we're gonna go through each one of these pieces of chicken. I have five pieces of chicken here. I think that'll be enough for three of us for dinner. And you can just run your knife at a steep angle and try to get some of that heavy stuff off. And we're gonna lay them down with the inside up. This is just some extra virgin olive oil. Just give them a little douse, rub that olive oil in. And then what we're gonna do is we're gonna hit it with my lemon garlic butter seasoning. This is gonna give you all those wonderful herbs, fresh lemon flavor, garlic, and kind of make you feel like you're back in your grandmother's kitchen. Then we're gonna flip them, a little bit of olive oil, rub that in a touch. And then again, we're gonna hit it with that lemon garlic butter. Now, we usually season about maybe 15, 20 minutes before we put them on the grill, let that absorb. And we're about to get it on the grill. We're gonna run around 350. These will take about maybe 35 minutes. We're gonna take them to an internal temperature of about 185. Okay, our chicken cooked for about 35 to 40 minutes on the grill. We took it off at 185. We'll bring it over here. Now we're gonna get all this great toppings on here. We're gonna start with the pizza seasoning and we're gonna just drizzle some beautiful pizza seasoning on there. Now we're gonna hit it with a little fresh mozzarella. Get a good amount on there too. You want it to be cheesy. Then we're gonna finish it with Bobby T's pizza seasoning. That's just gonna add a punch of flavor. Now we're gonna head it back over to the grill, get this sauce heated up, get the cheese melted, and then we're ready for our grilled chicken parm. Amazing. It doesn't get any better than this.